So during the pandemic, we know the DOT was besieged with complaints. So were we. The complaints against Frontier Airlines rose to the top of the charts, and we were seeking answers on that. But without this protocol in place, we didn't know what the status was. And it did take years to get a resolution. We now have a system in place that will help us more effectively protect consumers. We know as we came out of the pandemic, we saw a, a surge in passenger demand and then an explosion in complaints, even during the pandemic, though air traffic and passenger numbers were lower, complaints were higher because you had so many cancellations going on. Then we saw the demand recover uh, and we saw these issues with, with uh, cancellations and delays. Uh, that performance has improved. We still see uh, just an enormous volume of passenger complaints. And that's why it's so important for us to have allies and resources to augment that uh, small but mighty federal team that handles all of that. Uh, well, well, first of all, a, a big thank you to uh, Attorney General Weiser for uh, your leadership, your work in bringing this together, and your attention to the protection of consumers and passengers. And we're thrilled to be back here at Denver International Airport. Uh, where we have been investing to support everything from the uh, safety and efficiency improvements at Taxiway Echo Echo to the uh, ongoing work to modernize the baggage system. Uh, but uh, uh, like the AG said, that's another story for another day. We're talking about consumer protection and what is an historic and innovative partnership between the federal government and the states. The new process that we're announcing today involves how complaints from airline passengers can be managed. That process is now codified in a memorandum of understanding that will exist between different state AG's offices 